It's Women's History Month, and tonight we meet Pasea County Prosecutor Camila Valdez. She's been taking on roles traditionally held by men. And she spoke to students from her alma mater to send a message. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch reports. As a brown woman from Newark who turns out was poor, I didn't realize I was poor until I got to college, mm -hmm. um, what the world expected me to do was not what I have been able to do. Far cry from it. You're looking at the first Latina county prosecutor in New Jersey, the first lead prosecutor of Dominican descent in the U.S., the first woman to hold the title Passaic County Prosecutor, Camelia Valdez. After the celebrations are done, you got to do this work. Right. This work is hard. This is not for the faint at heart. You have to have courage and transparency and honesty. Always donning pearls, an homage to her sorority, Alpha Kappa Alpha, Valdez says she typically starts her day with a deep breath and maybe a glance at her caricature. Helps me to remember to try to have some levity to what we do because otherwise it's, it's crime all the time. She's held the title Passaic County Prosecutor for more than a decade now. Do you feel through this journey you've had more supporters or detractors? We all have haters. You know, we all have people that are going to question your competency. They're going to question how you got there. But she has so many more supporters. That send their prayers, send good wishes. To be able to be at the seat where policy is being made has been a phenomenal way to serve and to really spend a career doing something that I love. Make life better for all law-abiding citizens, says it's what she's always done. Valdez was born in the Bronx, raised in Newark, shares as a daughter of immigrant parents, playing the role of advocate, came early and often. I was translating for everybody in the building. So I learned at a young age the power of having a voice. She graduated from Barringer High School in Newark and just shared her story with students currently enrolled in hopes to inspire and let them know there's a big world outside of these halls. A mi gente que está allá afuera, que lo que, it's so good to be with you. Via Zoom, she joined other women with the Latina Commission of the Hispanic National Bar Association. The students asked the questions. What pushed you to be great? I think it was pride. I think it was, let me show you what somebody from Newark can do. When was a time when a professor or a colleague was discouraging to you and how you overcame that situation? I had a guidance counselor that I expressed my interest in being a lawyer to. She said to me, you know, the law is a male dominated field. So you should consider being a teacher or you should consider being a nurse. I did what I do when I hear something that I don't like. I just completely disregarded that. Went on to forge her own path of huge success, busting down barriers every step of the way. Offers this advice. Surround yourself with like-minded people who are energetic, who are committed to mission, who support your dreams as crazy or as outlandish as they may be. And wants everyone to remember throughout Women's History Month and always women make every space better. From Patterson, New Jersey, Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News.